this video, I want to introduce you to the, to the concept of tags, which can save you a considerable amount of time when coding. So, um, for example, in this case, we have two collision um, behaviors here with there's a left wall and the right wall. So we can cut this. There's a way to cut this in half because if you look here, there's actor of type. You know, we want the ship to balance when uh, when uh, um, colliding with actor of type left wall. But there's also another option here. We can suit you know with actor of with tag. But right now we don't have any tags in here. So if we go ahead and create some tags, we can cut this down by 50% the amount of coding here. So how do you create a tag? You go onto the um, actors section, and under your actors, you right now you should have these three actors. If you've been following along, player, ship, left wall, right wall, and then you want to click here to add a new tag. So let's just call this um, walls. Okay, could make could be whatever you want, just as long as you know how you're going to group. So it just kind of it's like a keyword. It allows you to group your tags by your your um, actors by tags. Makes some of the programming easier if there's several types. All right, so then we're going to just take the left wall, take it, click it, drag it right on top there, and notice it comes right there also. So then take that one, drag it, drop it right on top of walls, and there it is. So now under wall, my wall tag, um, I've got these two um, actors. Okay, so now if I go back to the player ship actor to program that, you see we have all our stuff here, our nodes. So instead of um, having two of these collision behaviors, I can say actor with tag, and then now click here, and you notice there's walls is now available. So any actor that's tagged with walls, this actor player ship will bounce off any actor that has a tag of wall. So then I don't really need this one here. So I can click on that and delete that. And we can still see if it's going to work. So let's hit the play button. And you see that the two, the walls, both walls still work because they're both tagged as walls. Okay, let's go back to the editor. And that's tags in a nutshell. We'll see you in the next video.